recently, I had the chance to take a look at the brand new Arcus. The updated flap two-seater obviously has a lot of new features, but there was one feature in particular that I thought was really interesting, the electrical gear. So why not take an in-depth look into how this system works? Shall I show the people how the gear works? It's a system that works itself. So what you do, you put this switch down for about a second. If you just touch it, no, nothing happens. So if you just, if it's on the ground or something happens, you just slide your finger by, nothing happens. You have to hold it and then it goes down. Such a convenient system. Such a convenient system. Now it's down. Up is the same thing, hold, press and hold for a second. Now the red LED is on, this is the prototype. After uh, we finish um, the, the works on the software, uh, after 10 seconds the red light will be off. So that's it. So that is the new system. I must confess at first I was a bit skeptical and thought it was merely a gimmick, but I do see how it makes the Arcus a lot more accessible. Now of course we've seen such a system on other gliders before in the past, and it hasn't always been a success, but I do think that Champerth have got it right this time. Not only has the system been thoroughly tested on a Discus 2A, it is also still the same gear that we know from Champerth, but then without all the mechanical components. Next to this, some Perth have also introduced some software tricks to make the system a bit more robust. For example, you cannot retract the gear when the plane is on the ground, and you cannot lower the gear once it's on the guardrail. And there's also a sensor override in case anything fails. Now it's time to give your opinion. Do you think we'll see this system more on other gliders? And would you want to use it on your own glider? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.